My name is Haley, for those of you who do not know me. And today I am filming a VSG gastric sleeve update. It has been a long time, no VSG talk. Um, I am now 18 months post-op or a year and a half. So my last update was actually my one year post-op video. And so I thought it was time. I did have a few of you actually message me or DM me over on Instagram asking me to do an update. So you know what, this is the perfect time. I am literally a year and a half post up. So I am finally going to be telling you guys my real weight, um, or I guess not real weight. I've always told you guys, you know, the real numbers and everything, but I don't think I've actually said my real weight on, on camera yet. So first things first, I am going to tell y'all what you're all here to know. Have I lost any more weight? Um, the answer to that is no. I have been in maintenance mode for the last six months, meaning that I did lose my 130 pounds in one year, which is a lot. And over the last six months, I have not really gained or lost. Um, I still eat the same. I still track my food some of the time. I still exercise Monday through Friday. So not much has changed other than me not tracking my food. Um, my surgeon is happy with where I'm at. I am happy with where I'm at. So I have lost 131 pounds. I did gain about 10 pounds back in August um, because I broke my foot and I wasn't exercising for about three weeks. So I think that is what did it, but I got that 10 pounds back off and I am, um, at 130 pounds down, I weigh 230 pounds. So I don't know. It's like once my body hits 230, I pretty much just kind of have stopped. I don't know. Um, I try, I can lose about five pounds. Uh, my lowest was 225, but it seems like I sit around 230. Just like that has been where I've been the last six months. I'm not really sure why, as I'm still doing exactly what I was doing beforehand, but you know, I did lose 130 pounds in a year and I'm happy with that. Um, I, like I said, I weigh 230 pounds, so I'm still a plus size girl, but you know what? Coming from almost 360 pounds, I feel great. <laughs> um, I'm happy. I'm also happy with where my loose skin is. I know any of you who are watching are probably watching because you want to have VSG or you have had gastric sleeve or weight loss, bariatric surgery. Um, loose skin comes with that. Um, my biggest like amount of loose skin is on my arms. You can see all down here, um, loose skin. Like you can see where my arm is right here. You can see on this side, I will show you guys, you can see all that is loose. I can go like this, you can see my arm, go like this, loose skin. So, um, I personally, I'm okay with being where I'm at. I don't wanna lose too much more. Um, of course, I think I'm always gonna be in the mindset of I could lose 10 pounds because I probably could stand to lose 10 pounds. Um, but the thing is, I'm very happy with where my loose skin is at. It is not causing me any issues. I am not getting any rashes, you know, things that come with large amounts of loose skin. Um, I don't really have those problems because I'm still, you know, 230 pounds. But for me, I'm okay with that. I am comfortable with that and I'm happy with that. I was always genuinely worried about losing too much weight and then having excuse my dog Maggie, she jumped up here, um, about having like a lot of extra loose skin and then just kind of trading one insecurity for the other. Of course, I have said this many times before and I will say it again, I definitely did not have gastric sleeve surgery to, you know, for vanity reasons. I had high blood pressure and I was a borderline like diabetic. I had taken metformin, high blood pressure medication, thyroid medication, the only thing I take now is thyroid medication. Um, I'm off all my medicines. I can do so many things that I used to not be able to do. Um, but yeah, it's, it's just really been crazy. Like I was saying before, I still work out 
Monday through Friday, and I try to get between 15 and 30 minutes of exercise every single day, if not more. Um, but that's my minimum. You know, some days I wake up and I just really, really don't want to do it, and I will do like a 15 minute workout. But um, for the most part, I look forward to my workouts. Um, I'm strong, I feel good. And it is like, it has become a huge part of who I am and my lifestyle now. Um, and like I was saying as well, I pretty much still eat the same. Um, <clears throat> for example, if we have, trying to think of a good example, let's say fast food, right? Because I'm not going to lie and say I haven't eaten fast food over the last 18 months. That's just not true. Um, but say I go through a drive through and I get a burger and french fries. Currently, currently at 18 months post-op, I eat about half of the burger and about half of the french fries. Um, so that's like, you know, portion size, that's about where I'm at, um, which I still feel like is, you know, pretty low, like they're pretty small portions, I guess you could say. I still try and keep my calories under about 1,500. Um, some of my videos I go back and I see that, you know, my whole day total was like 600 calories. And I remember being full, you know, feeling like I was eating so much. So sometimes I get a little bit nervous and I start to worry, you know, about how much I'm eating. And I think, wow, like I'm eating so much more than I was in the beginning. But we cannot survive on 800 calories a day. Like that's, that's not, that's not doable long term. Um, so I do eat more like 1500 calories a day. Um, I'm still not getting sick from everything or from anything. I mean, nothing makes me physically ill. Nothing makes me sick. Um, but it's really just, you know, I don't know. I'm, I'm still eating pretty small portions and the weight is not really coming off. I'm kind of just in maintenance mode, which I'm okay with. I feel like the fact that I haven't gained anything back um, except for those, those 10 pounds or eight to 10 pounds when I broke my foot. Um, but I got that off and you know, I haven't gained it back and I feel like that's okay. I am happy with that. Um, I feel like I've been a little bit hesitant to post, you know, updates and things like that because I worry that people are going to come for me in the comments and be like, Oh, you haven't lost anything in six months. Um, you know, it's something I've talked to my doctor, my primary doctor and my surgeon about and they said that's normal it's okay some people you know the weight loss continues for the you know into the second year um but some people usually about the first year is where it stops especially if you were um larger uh, at least according to my surgeon if you were larger and you know you lost a huge amount of weight like i did 130 pounds in a year your body kind of just you know it slows down so that is what my surgeon told me and I I'm happy if he's happy I'm happy and more importantly I have just <laughs> I've changed so much I am so much more confident I am so much more active I make so much better choices as far as what I'm eating when I'm eating you know the the lifestyle change part of it I feel like I have done very 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 well um and another huge thing for me and my husband is I am able to get on some fertility medications. Um, I know it is very common for women to get pregnant the first year, the first year and a half after surgery. Some women, that's all they needed is to lose a little bit of weight and that helps with their fertility. For me, I've still had some issues. Now I did get pregnant back in August and I had a loss, unfortunately. Um, and here we are six months later and I, not anything has happened. So we are moving on to medicated fertility health. And, you know, that was a huge goal for me when I started this entire process of, you know, looking into bariatric surgery, looking into weight loss surgery was my hope that I would get pregnant or at least be able to get down small enough to receive fertility help. Um, you know, that has been a huge thing for me. It is something that I have reiterated over and over throughout my weight loss journey is that one of my biggest pushing factors other than being on like high blood pressure medication and being pre-diabetic was that I really want to be a mother and you know, it is something that I have worked for and it is something that helps me keep on pushing all the time. 
Um, so that is a big update um, related to weight loss is that I am able to receive the medicated help that I need. We will be starting that soon and that is very exciting. That is something I definitely could not have accomplished without losing as much weight as I have. Um, I will insert a picture here or I will try to of what I look like before my 130 pound loss. Um, sometimes it is, you know, sometimes, especially now, I guess that I've been kind of the same weight and the same size. Um, I feel like I still, you know, I, I feel like I still look like I used to, but then I see photos of me and I'm like, okay, wow. Yeah, I definitely have changed. Um, and when I run into people who I haven't seen, because I don't see very many people since, you know, the pandemic and everything. So when I do see other people and they're like, wow, you know, you, you look so different, you know, I'm like, okay, okay, you know, I'm doing good. It is easy sometimes for me to get discouraged over the fact that I haven't really lost um, much weight over the last six months, but... Other than that, I am still someone who would completely recommend bariatric surgery or gastric sleeve. It has changed my life for the better in every way. Um, like I said, I don't get sick from anything. I have had no complications. Um, I'm doing great. Like, I'm doing really, really good. And if you were to come to me and say, Haley, would you recommend me to have gastric sleeve surgery, I would tell you yes. I would tell you yes. I would say go for it. If it's something, you know, that you really want to do, then girl, boy, you do it. You do it. Because for me, it has been the best decision that I've made in my adult life, probably, other than marrying my husband, of course. Um, but taking my health back in control, you know, getting my health back in, in my own hands and in control, because believe it or not, even though it was my body and my brain, um, I feel like when you're 350 pounds, it's, you know, it's, it's, it was, was really hard. I remember I couldn't even walk around the block, um, getting out of breath, walking upstairs, you know, things that I don't even think about now. Um, but yeah, like I said, that that's pretty much it for my update. I am doing really well. I would still recommend bariatric surgery if that's something that you are looking into. Um, I still like to post what I eat in a day for weight loss videos because I am still eating as if I'm trying to lose weight. I still eat the same way. I still eat the same things. I still eat the diet food. I still eat, you know, lower carb. Um, high protein, like uh, that has just been a lifestyle change for me, I think. Not really, you know, so much that I am like actively hoping that I lose weight, but I, like I was saying in the beginning, I could always stand to lose 10 pounds, but um, I, it's a lifestyle change. I've changed the way I eat and that's just kind of how I eat now. So that's okay. And I'm happy with that. And yeah. That is really it for the update. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know a lot of you were curious as to what is going on. Um, I hope that you guys are happy to finally hear my real weight. And um, please, if you liked this video and want me to continue doing you know, updates, maybe a little bit faster than every six months, comment down below and let me know. Um, that really, helps me and pushes me to make videos surrounding my gastric sleeve surgery is people actually wanting to like know what's going on. Um, you know, because like I said, since I'm not really losing weight, I feel like there's not really much to update you guys on, but I have a lot of people who ask me, you know, when, when's an update video, what's going on? So I try to post like what I eat in a day and things like that. Um, those videos are for my gastric sleeve people, of course. But yeah, if you want to see more like this, please comment down below and let me know. Uh, feel free to subscribe to my channel if you want to continue watching my weight loss slash VSG journey. I also post other content on my channel, just lifestyle in general. But yeah, that's going to be it for this video, guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. And yeah, I would love to see your comments in 
the comment section down below. And yes, I will also link my Instagram name in the description box in case any of you do want to follow me over there and DM me over there if you have any questions or anything. But yeah, that is going to be it for this video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed and I will see y'all in another video real soon. Bye, guys.